Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, today I want to talk about poverty. For too long, religious people have made a lot of people believe that God loves poverty and that poverty honors God. Nothing could be further from the truth. God does not love poverty. God loves the poor, yes, but he doesn't love poverty. Listen, God created man and put man in a paradise. In that paradise, there was an abundance of food, abundance of care, abundance of love. What does that tell you? It tells us that God loves abundance. So this idea that God loves poverty and that poverty pleases God, it just comes right out of the pit of hell. And we know that because if you read scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11, it says that God, and this is God speaking, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, thoughts to prosper you. Now look at that. God wants you to prosper. Now, if God wants you to prosper, how can poverty please him? A lot of people are under the idea that Lazarus went to paradise because he was poor. That's not true. Lazarus went to paradise because he was righteous. If Lazarus had been rich and righteous, he would have still gone to paradise. And the rich man did not go to hell because he was rich. He went to hell because he was an unrepentant sinner. If he was poor and an unrepentant sinner, he would have still gone to hell. So you need to understand that in the New Testament, when a man approached Yeshua, whom some people called Jesus, and called him good, he rejected that. He said, only God is good. Yet, this same Yeshua, whom some people called Jesus, called the Samaritan good. Now, look at that. The only man that he called good, the Samaritan. Now, why did he call the Samaritan the good Samaritan? Because the man had money and spent his money on the man who had been robbed by robbers and took him to care for him. Now, he spent his money to care for the man. You know, in that story, there was a Levite and a priest that passed by. They probably prayed for the man. But their prayer did not make them good. What made the man good was his prayer. He paid for the man who had been attacked by a robber. So, having money, spending it, helping the less privileged makes you good. That is prima facie proof that God does not hate prosperity. Rather, God hates poverty, but he loves the poor. Now, you need to understand that because if you do not get rid of that mentality, of that mindset, you are always going to run away from prosperity mentally, and prosperity will also run away from you. Now, over the years, you know, you had a situation where at one point in time, most people could not read, and they depended, that they depended on priests and men of God who often they read scripture, they misinterpreted it so that they could control people. And I think that's where this idea that God loves poverty comes from. But if you look at it, when Yeshua was asked, what is the greatest commandment? He said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. How can you love your neighbor as yourself when you are poor? Because when you are poor, your ability for self-love is limited. How much more or how much less can you love your neighbor? It's very, very limited. I'll give you another example. Listen, if your neighbor just got married or your neighbor just had a child or your neighbor just got discharged from hospital and you are poor, what can you do for them to show them love other than visiting them and giving them words? But then scripture has said that, you know, that he said faith without works is dead. So if you are poor and are not able to do anything for your neighbor at that point in time, your ability to love him is limited. But if you have money, if you're wealthy, you have enough ability to show your love to him by giving him a gift. So you see, even the law that requires you to love your neighbor as yourself is helped by your prosperity. So please get rid of this mentality that poverty pleases God. It does not please God. Now, my name is Renan Mokri, the Apostle of Prosperity. If you watch this and your questions are arising from what I've said, please put them in the comment section of this video. My staff are going to bring them to me. Now, this is the Apostle of Prosperity saying, God bless you. Reno travels all around the world. I hope you get inspired about what you see. Apostle of greatness. Reno is a master. Only one man against the whole world in large. Fighting with the monsters. Poverty I can't stand. That's why Reno is a